What is up guys, Faded here and welcome back to the channel for another video and today I want to compare two of the latest gaming laptops that are competing for market dominance. The well known Lenovo Y700 and the similar specced out Dell Inspiron 15 7000 series. Before we dive deeper I want to go ahead and go over the specs of each model that I am comparing. The Y700 has a GTX 960M, an Intel i7-6700HQ, 16GB of DDR4 RAM, a 128GB SSD as well as a 5400 RPM hard drive and lastly is an LED backlit IPS panel. For the Inspiron we also have a GTX 960M 4GB version, an Intel i5-6300HQ, 8GB of DDR3 RAM, a 256GB SSD and also a matte LED backlit IPS panel. So to highlight the differences a bit more, primarily the i7 versus the i5, the DDR4 versus the DDR3, and as well as the storage. Though both of these series of laptops have different configurations and both of them are customizable with i5 and i7 options. So we're just going to be comparing the overall differences of these series of laptops. So as always, let's go ahead and start with the design. They both attempt to grab the attention of the gamer crowd with red accents and such. While the Lenovo is brushed metal on the lid and plastic underneath, the Dell is plastic all around the entire chassis. While the Y700 definitely has a solid feel, but the Dell doesn't feel cheap either. Lenovo goes for that more gamer look while Dell wants to be the more gamer slash professional feel. Though I think Dell hits it a little bit better here. The Dell also scores points for having more slide resistance on the bottom while the Y700 is easy to push around on a desk. Now in connectivity they both have the same ports just in much different places. And Dell does a better job at spacing these out. So let's take a look under the hood. The keyboard of both laptops is backlit, but Lenovo soars in its overall feel and design. The Dell feels quite cheap and the backlight is quite lackluster, but also going along with this is the touchpad. Lenovo demolishes the Inspiron's touchpad. I had quite a few touch recognition issues on the Dell and Lenovo was practically perfect, though Dell does give you quite a bit more room. Now on to the display. While Lenovo runs away with color accuracy and brightness, the Dell actually comes with a half decent matte screen. Whereas the Lenovo comes with an anti-glare coating which is gross and it definitely needs to be removed. Though after removing it, the Lenovo wins hands down. It loses brightness itself but the Dell's matte screen really brings it down. But this is just going to happen in every matte screen that you find. Now the Dell definitely suffers from some colors not being as close as what they should be. And the Lenovo color accuracy is definitely where it needs to be. And now for sound. The Dell has a very cheap sound system and it sounds pretty stock if you will. The subwoofer is laughable and the software based effects simply increase the gain and it doesn't make it sound any better. So not much to see here on the Dell. Now Lenovo once again wins with the JBL audio speaker system that sounds very nice but it can feel a bit hollow at times. Especially when being played on a solid wood desk. It definitely needs some settings tweaked as well. So now for performance. The Lenovo is obviously going to perform better with 16GB of DDR4 RAM versus 8GB of DDR3 RAM, as well as the Lenovo sporting the i7 versus the Dell with the i5, but the models both have i5 and i7 options, which if being the same, the clearly the only differences would be the RAM. And overall, they perform at a very similar level, with both having the GTX 960M, the Lenovo only scoring a little bit higher than the Dell in Firestrike. And in games I can barely tell the difference, though there were some differences. Differences would have to be in the temps. Lenovo is a bit better here where I noticed Dell's temps seem to be just a little bit higher in game and the keyboard just getting a little bit hotter than Lenovo's ever did. So overall these PCs give a very similar experience. The Lenovo has a bunch more bells and whistles but at a much higher cost. I would say the Lenovo would be great for editing and is the clear victor here. But Dell is the value alternative that definitely wins the ticket if you're only looking to game. Though knowing that both of these laptops have models with the same exact specs, which assuming all variables stay the same and there's no outliers here, I think Dell is definitely the better way to go. When compared to the Lenovo with the exact same spec level, the Dell is much cheaper and to me, a better overall design. So in my book, the Dell Inspiron 15 7000 series is where you should start. But don't rule out the Lenovo just yet, it's not bad either. Just be looking to pay a little bit more for extra features. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video, and you guys have a good one.